This is Edward Daniel. Welcome to Me, Med, and More. Before you start, make sure to introduce yourself, explain the procedure, secure patient consent, prepare materials prior, do proper drapings, and observe privacy. A bimanual pelvic and rectovaginal examination is performed to more thoroughly evaluate the patient's cervix, uterus, ovaries, rectum, and other pelvic structures. Maayong buntag! Ako si Edward Daniel Mortalia, usa ka senior clerk. Karon mo perform the ikog bimanual pelvic examination. Diri, akong isulod akong tudlo sa imong kinataw, dayon ako lang examinon kung naabay mga abnormalities sulod sa imong vagina. Dili ni siya sakit, pero ang komportable siya gamay. Okay ra mo pa dayon tamam? Okay, sige, so good na ta. So, mo position lang tagtarong. Position should be dorsal lithotomy with the buttocks at the edge of the table. Make sure the patient has voided before starting. Observe a sepsis by putting gloves. Remember the mnemonic EQUAD, which stands for introitus, cervix, uterus, adnexa, and discharges. I stands for introitus and includes inspection of the external surface of the vagina, such as the following. Observe the introitus and take note if the hymen is intact, imporphyrit, or open, and whether the perineum gapes or remains closed. Palpate the area of the posterior third of the labia majora facing the index finger inside the introitus and the thumb on the outside of the labium to palpate for the Bartholin's gland. With a gloved hand, hold the labia apart. Evaluate pelvic organ prolapse by asking the patient to cuff. Put lubricant in the index and middle fingers. Introduce the lubricated fingers of the dominant hand into the vagina, directing them posteriorly. The thumb should be pointing up or folded under to minimize the discomfort for the patient. The C stands for cervix and includes evaluation of the position, architecture, consistency, and tenderness, especially the mobility of the cervix. Test the strength of the perineum by pressing downward on the perineum and asking the patient to bear down. Ma'am, pugni daw akong kamot. The opposite hand is placed on the patient's abdomen. Press on the infra-umbilical area to elevate the uterus by pressing up on the cervix and delivering the uterus to the abdominal hand. Evaluate for position, architecture, size, shape, symmetry, tumor, consistency, tenderness, and mobility. Next, examine the agnexa by placing the vaginal finger in the lateral fornix so the abdominal hand is placed just medial to the anterior iliac spine. Do it on both sides. Outline the adnexa and note for tenderness, masses, and mobility. Withdraw the middle finger from the vagina and insert into the anal canal. Evaluate the tone of the external sphincter muscle, tenderness, tumor, irregularities, fixation or mobility of the rectovaginal septum and rectum. Remove fingers and check for gross blood, purulent material, and other alterations. Thank the patient and properly annotate the report of the findings. Okay ma'am, humanata. Salamat kayo sa kooperasyon. Tagaan lang tikag tissue kung kinahanglanon mo trapo. Maodi ay niya akong findings ma'am. Normal ratanan, wala ra ko yung nakita ng abnormality sa imuhang introitus, cervix, uterus, at nagsaog discharges. Maayo ra imuhang resulta. I hope to see you in my other videos on me, med, and more.